don't toss that broken cell phone, trade it in for some cold, hard cash. We've got yet another reason for you to smile, and it just keeps getting hotter and hotter. All that and more on today's Daily Orbit. Hello, I'm Emerald Robinson. Welcome to the Daily Orbit. Now eat your x-ray vision carrots and tiny tasty treetops, young man also known as carrots and broccoli. <laughs> a new study says that giving regular old vegetables interesting names makes them more enticing for kids. Researchers gave veggies snazzy names on a school menu like X-ray Vision Carrots, Power Punch Broccoli, and Silly Dilly Green Beans. They found that more kids chose to purchase these healthy options when they had fun new names. Vegetable sales went up 99% in the school with jazzed up names, and decreased 16% in the school with traditional names. Researchers say that alternative naming for food works on big kids like us too. And if you're someone who has poor enamel, you'll soon have a new reason to flash your pearly whites. <laughs> Researchers from Japan have successfully manufactured an artificial tooth enamel that can be applied over existing teeth, preventing decay, strengthening sensitive teeth, and even making them appear whiter. Created from hydroxyapatite, which is the main mineral in tooth enamel, this flexible sheet becomes invisible once applied to the tooth surface. Researchers say it could be used cosmetically within three years. I'm already smiling at the thought of that one. <sighs> oh, doesn't that picture just make you cringe? Ugh. A team of researchers from the University of Copenhagen is working to develop a new snake bite antidote. Studying native plants in Africa, they plan to develop natural, locally available options to treat bites. Experts say 100,000 people die each year from snake bites. In Africa alone, 1 million people suffer venomous bites, but only half receive treatment, as they're often in remote areas with limited access to help. Researchers plan to provide guidelines on the use of plants in those areas where the local people have limited access to Western medicine. Ooh, I'm getting hot in here. So, I'm not gonna finish that. <laughs> As we bid adieu to summer, it's almost a relief because it sure has been a hot one. As a matter of fact, the third hottest on record. August 2012 was the 330th consecutive month in which temperatures worldwide were above the 20th century average, up an average of 1.1 degrees. 8 million acres went ablaze in the U.S. alone, and the Antarctic sea ice melted to a record-breaking low extent. I don't know about you, but with such an extreme summer, I am bracing myself for an intense winter. And do you have a box like this, full of crappy old cell phones and MP3 players that you just can't bring yourself to throw away? Well, get ready to trade those in for some cold, hard cash. The new Eco ATM kiosk can determine the value of various consumer electronic products and distribute cash or credit for the trade. Eco ATM finds second homes for three-fourths of the devices it collects and sends the remainder to responsible recycling avenues. Buyers for the devices bid in advance for the 4,000 different models the kiosk collects. The company plans to have over 300 kiosks installed in stores across the country by the end of 2012. I'm all for getting some green for going green. Well, that's it for the Daily Orbit. See you tomorrow. Mama's gonna go get some new shoes.